Minister of Magic, he smells like fish. I don't expect many of you to appreciate the subtle science or exact art that is British pronunciation. However, for those select few who possess the predisposition, I can teach you how to bewitch Americans with your cute British accent, master the schwa, and even put a glottal stop in your teas. So do pay attention, or you may risk sounding like a muggle. Or worse, an American. <laughs> Bella will demonstrate the first spell of connected speech. Assimilare! Assimilation is an essential spell for perfect pronunciation. It involves changing one sound to sound more similar to the next sound. We smooth those sounds so they're more similar to each other. And that makes it sound better. For example, the words could you are separated with a d and a y sound. But with connected speech, we combine those into a j sound. Say this with me, class, that includes you. Could you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Fine. Did I do it right? I'm scared. So the question, could you pass me the potion? How, Miss Mellon, would you pronounce this with perfect British pronunciation? Could you pass me the potion? Yes, good. Now you try. Could you pass me the potion? Yes, that's fine. Did you hear that they're letting muggles in Hogwarts this year? Oh, the stupid muggles. Did you also notice I said, did you, and not did you, this year? The S and Y combine into a sh sound. This year, this year, you. What's your name? Becky. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. When one word finishes in a T sound and the next word begins with a Y sound, we connect them with a CH. Meet you. Meet you. Say it with me. Meet you. Nice to meet you. That's good. And when one word ends in an N sound and the next word begins with a B, W, P or M sound, for example, one muggle, the N in one becomes N to join muggle. Why? Because it flows together and it makes you sound more fluent and less like a robot. One muggle. Same with in between. No, in between. <laughs> Miss Mellon, you don't have any friends, who are you texting? At the end of each unit, you will be tested, so say these sentences perfectly. Would you turn to page 394? What's your excuse, Mr. Potter? I want you to sit down. Moving on. Dobby, go away. Actually, that's a good one. When you want to connect go away, we intrude a W sound in the middle. Go away. And that's our next spell. Bella? Intrusio! The intrusion spell links two words together by adding an extra sound in the middle. Those sounds are W, R and Y. When one word ends in a vowel sound like ow, oo, or o, oh, your mouth naturally makes this shape, oo. So if the next word begins with a vowel sound like uh, it sounds better to connect them with a w sound. Go away. I know a wizard. And when a word finishes with an a, i, E or oi sound, and the next word has a vowel sound, connect it with a y sound. Me and you. Me and you. I also hate Harry Potter. You understand? Yes. There are, of course, other examples. In British English, we don't pronounce the r like Americans do, and therefore replace the r sound at the end of words like Potter, with a simple schwa, Potter. However, if the next word begins with a vowel sound, we do pronounce the r 
it intrudes into the two words. <sighs> you say this. Harry Potter is over a tigre chat. Again, faster. Harry Potter is over at Hagrid's hut. Harry Potter is over at Hagrid's hut. Good. <laughs> Using all three linking sounds. How would you say this? Three of you were in trouble. Sorry, am I boring you? Next one, please, Bella. Catenate. Catenation. You see, catenation is when the final consonant sound of one word actually joins the next word if it begins with a vowel sound. Dark hearts. Dark hearts. Dark hearts. Say it with me. Dark hearts. The same with death eater. No. Death eater. Death eater. Oh, you think life isn't fair? No. You think life isn't fair. Life isn't fair. <laughs> and finally, elision. Alicia! Elision is when a word finishes with a consonant sound like a t, d, or k. And the next word begins with a consonant sound. That t, d, or k will be removed or elided, particularly in a consonant cluster. Only those severely lacking of you will not know what a consonant cluster is. So let me give you some examples. The st m in Christmas elide the t Christmas. The skt in asked you may elide the k asked. Only the brilliant of you will remember earlier in our assimilation unit that we could make next year sound like next year. But with elision, you also have the option to elide that t sound. Next year. In fact, any t sound in a past tense verb when the next word starts with a consonant sound. I helped them. No. I helped them. I helped them. Just remove the t sound altogether. <laughs> Fine, it's time for your final test to see if you truly are Hogwarts material. Complete this test by saying out loud for everyone to hear these sentences. If your pronunciation matches mine, you may attend Hogwarts next year. If not... Good luck! Good luck. Could you teach me about potion making? Face your fears. You're an insufferable know-it-all. After all this time. And finally, as you're so clever. Nagini, Nagini is better at spells than Harry Potter's. Yes, it was rather good. Nagini is better at spells than Harry Potter is. <coughs> Sorry. Let me know how you did in the comments and I hope to see you next year. I like this voice. Class dismissed. <laughs>